Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Uh, Elfsters, Rifles and Reloading says, does the USCCA have any interaction with the other groups like GOA? Shout out to GOA, yep. by the way, and the NRA. Yep. So do, what's, yep. the, what's the answer to that? Do you guys have interaction with those folks? Yes, yes, we do have interaction. And uh, actually, I just got a note uh, from uh, one of our reporters out on the road. Said uh, Dave Workman from the Second Amendment Foundation says hello. And and um, we work with those guys out there, Alan Gottlieb and Dave Workman and, oh, cool. and Gun Owners of America. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you probably heard about it. You probably saw it, you know, on the interwebs. Um, there was a little bit of a split between us and the NRA. <laughs> this um, was my next question. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, I'm I'm never going to say I, I consider it to be like an ex-wife. I'm never going to say a bad thing about it. Okay. Uh -huh. um, we still support the NRA. They have an important mission that they do. Um, they support and defend the Second Amendment on a political side of things. And lots of our employees at USCCA are still NRA members. I'm mm -hmm. still an NRA member. Lots of our USCCA members are also members of the NRA. Um, we just do two different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, and honestly, yep, it's a competitive marketplace and competition makes everybody work harder and do better. And I think that uh, it shows in the work that we do, we're doing a great job. The NRA is still out there doing its job. It's got its own little internal problems and struggles and things that are happening going on with it. And unfortunately, because it's so big, that makes the media, you know, the media gets interested in that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, we're not, you know, you won't see a USCCA booth at an NRA-sponsored event. Um, we're sorry about that. We'd like to be there. But, um, you know, yeah. honestly, they do what they do, and we do what we do. Right. So can I can I just backtrack for a second here? Back, uh, when was this, like two years ago? Yeah, about that, two, yeah, two and a half. Yeah, it was like literally a couple of days before NRA show. I can't remember. Was it, 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 was mm -hmm. it the one in Dallas or... Um, I can't remember where we were. I think Louisville. Yeah, I think, yeah okay, uh, okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right before that, it's like, oh, by the way, USCCA not invited. How did you go? I mean, can you talk <laughs> about that? I just want to, because I got you on. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, well, that, that was exactly what happened was um, uh -huh. we, uh, just before the show was set to begin, um, we got a, a note, I believe it was a FedEx note, with a check for our booth space. and, and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, You got your money <laughs> little, back little letter that said hey uh That's you cold. know um, why don't you not come around and, yeah <laughs> and we're kind of shrugging because you know we spent tons of money and we had truckloads of gear down there waiting to go already and, yeah. And, uh, yeah yeah so um, how how long and, had you guys been going to the nra shows at this at that point i, I think four or five years for sure mm -hmm. um so mm -hmm. we but we were ramping up our our presence and getting bigger and bigger and doing stuff like that mm -hmm. and that was honestly that was the the same week that NRA launched its carry guard program, which was a direct competitor to yeah. what we were doing. Yeah. Do you um, think there was any like correlation with that? No, not at all. Definitely not. <laughs> it a mere coincidence, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. um, but, uh, you know, now um, if you look closely or you go and you do a Google search for carry guard, um, mm -hmm. they're not out there. They've, uh, you know, uh, this is not an easy business to be in. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we do it very, very well at the USCCA. And uh, um, again, I won't say bad things about the NRA. Mm -hmm. They're in business to be in business, and so are we. And uh, we're just going to continue to do our business to the best of our ability. Yeah. If I can just, I know that you can't, but I, and I'm not trying to say something bad about them, uh, but mm -hmm. I remember when that happened, and that was really mm -hmm. horrible. I think that was like real, that was like, wow. I thought we were all in this together, gun guys, Second Amendment people. You know, I know that they were getting into the business and all that. I get it, right? Com competition, awesome. But man, that was some cold-hearted stuff right there. Yep. <laughs> well, well, um, I can't disagree with that. <laughs> um, it was. I understand. It, it, I understand. It, 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 did, it did come as kind of a surprise to us. But mm -hmm. again, you are right. We are all in this together, and we want mm -hmm. everybody who owns a gun mm -hmm. to be able to do it however they want to. It is your right. It is your basic human right. Mm -hmm. And it, it is preserved. That right is preserved by the Second Amendment. So, of course, we support that. And again, I'll just go back to the the you know, the, the same thing I say over and over. We are going to be the best we can be in our area of the marketplace. And whether that be training or education or information or legal protection that we're providing, we're going to provide the best. Yeah. And I think ultimately that's going to shine through and people are going to see that. And, and, and I'm not trying to say that 
you know, for the folks out there who do have the NRA's version, uh, what is it, carry guard or something mm-hmm. like that, that it's not the best or anything. I'm not trying to even, you know, get into that conversation. I think ultimately, listen, do something. Doing something or having something is better than having nothing. And ultimately, um, you know, people will find out what works for them and what doesn't work for them. Uh, Pixamite. Mm-hmm. Uh, has this comment in this in this vein. He says, we have job insurance in the rail industry. If we get fired over company nonsense, we get paid every week until we're cleared of charges and reinstated. Better to have it than not. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's it there. I don't know if you have any questions or comments, Babyface, in, in this whole NRA thing before I move on. No. But, yeah, you know, I couldn't, I, I couldn't let someone from USCCA come on here and not... Thanks. I, I I appreciate you know making yeah. me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> we had to we had to get into that one. We had to get into that one. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get people. Oh, Boss Hog says gold member. So shout out to Boss Hog out there. He's a gold member. Uh, Rocky Mountain Bear says I think John Lovell from Warrior po- Warrior Poet Society has some training videos of USCCA stuff. Yeah, we just uh, did a uh, big series uh, for what we call our member-only content with John Lovell, and mm-hmm. uh, we put together a series of training videos with John, and we uh, we actually picked out a family from uh, nearby our headquarters and went to their house and filmed right in their house and showed them what they need to do to, to make it a little bit safer for them and uh, gave oh, cool. them some on-range training. It was great fun. John's a great guy. Oh, nice, nice. So while we're talking about training stuff here, like Babyface, by the way, Babyface is officially like a NRA uh trainer so uh, you have to be well, in the state of florida to yeah. otherwise i can't yeah otherwise i can't train it's stupid yeah so, florida only recognizes the nra have you uh, that's actually a good question if you don't mm-hmm. mind me said segueing into that mm-hmm. do you guys have any plans on is that a, a known issue for you guys you um yeah actually we multiple have a, states yeah we have a full-time person who is working within the state legislatures to make sure that um our training good. protocols can be brought to the state and can be used um, and certified for um, USCCA training. There's, cool. I believe there's 26 states that require some sort of certification, and mm-hmm. a few of them specifically say it must be NRA certification. So why, yeah, why, would, that, why would that be? Why is that? Um, is that just... Well, the NRA has been around the longest, and it's... they've been the, 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 a training organization for the longest, and, okay. and they they work very well when they're doing things like political organizing and, and, and moving in those circles. So, the, right. so the nothing big, nefarious the going on there. No, 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 well, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say anything nefarious. I was gonna say crazy. <laughs> Remember, Marion Hammer is from Florida. That's all oh well, the yeah. okay. <laughs> and uh, um, and and again, you know, the NRA has been doing this sort of training for a long time, yeah. and had the opportunity to talk at the at the state level. Um, the big the biggest problem that we have with a state would be Missouri, which means we have to go to every individual county and get the county to approve. Our training. Uh, yeah. In, Do you know in, offhand how many counties there are? I think there's like 71 or 68 what? or something like that. That's, that's a, crazy uh, talk. Yes. Oh, I thought so, Florida had a lot of counties. Does Florida have yeah. more or less counties than that? Because, geez, I, that's I, a lot of counties. I know, <laughs> I know, I know we got... I know we've got 72 here in the state of Wisconsin, and oh. uh, um, I'm thankful that we didn't have to go to each every one of those. But, yeah, we have a state compliance person who makes sure that we reach out to the state we follow all of their directives and all of their laws and and, and stuff like that so mm-hmm. um we also have one woman uh, uh shout out to bonnie because she handles our state laws page uscca.com slash laws and we keep that thing up to date every day i mm-hmm. mean she is out there checking on new laws and changes and stuff that's going on every single day oh, okay is that's, that an app that's gotta or something? be a hell of a job yeah, oh, yeah um that's it's right on our webpage, just uscca.com slash laws oh reciprocity map and a complete overview of all your state laws so it tell okay. you uh where you're going to be legal and and okay if you can carry your gun while you're hunting and all that kind of stuff okay can i is that an app form that you could get it on your phone yes you can find okay. uh, our yep so the the uscca app is out there in the app store and and oh okay that, i need uh, to get up on that then <laughs> yeah that, yeah. that well, will even if you see. hook that up with your gps it will tell you when you cross state lines into a place where your permit is oh, no good what? Okay, what? I'm going to get that That's right now. That's pretty cool. I'm not yeah. going to lie. That's let pretty me see. cool. I could probably throw this up on my, uh, let me see, USCCA. US, I don't know if I have it already. Uh, let's see here. Uh, USCCA. Oh, there's the app. I'm going to get it. You guys are you guys are witnessing 
history happening here. Is oh, that yeah, is that what it's get called? The, the yeah, technological yeah, marvel is what it app, is. Doing the, right? face, doing the face ID to get it. Okay, so that's I got that. That's downloading right now, Kevin, right now. I might, I'll show oh, it once sorry. I get it on my phone. We'll throw yeah. that up on the screen here and let everyone... Uh, uh, thanks to Lola, by the way, for bringing me. So do you want a soda or something like Just that? Oh you, got your, oh, you got yourself a soda and didn't get one for old Hank's thing? <laughs> you, you still got half a bottle of water. Oh no! I I switch between the water. Uh, okay. I switch between the water and the right. soda okay. Okay. while I'm doing the show, mate. Well, I would have got one if you said. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. All right, so yeah, cool. That's I'm gonna get this app. So you you can use your um, GPS. Yep. And, and you, uh, okay. Plug in your uh, the state in which you have a permit. You mm -hmm. know, so I have a permit in the state of Wisconsin. So mm -hmm. when I'm driving south and I get to the Illinois state line, the app starts buzzing and ringing and doing mm -hmm. stuff. Says, "Don't go to Illinois. You're not. You're yeah. not legal. You can't get in." You're there. not welcome there. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good idea. I have another app like that called CCW, but it doesn't do. I don't think it does the GPS thing. So that's actually a pretty cool uh, feature. I've talked about that one before, but I'm gonna get this and then I'll I'll talk about this going forward as well.